All right, guys, good afternoon. Where are the other students, please? I am not seeing. I'm not seeing. I'm, is there are only six of us here? This is this is the worst outing. This is the worst outing ever. The worst outing ever. Where are the other students? Is there is there a test later on today? Sir, good evening. Jonathan said that he would be a bit late. We were supposed to tell you. Oh, okay. But where are the other students do? I don't know. This this not look safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of you guys. This not look safe, guys. Mm. All right. Um, all right. I can't wait any longer. This is now 5 30. I really can't wait any longer. Um, I know one person says to me that they are in traffic um coming. I think the person just joined. Sir, sorry, we never not connect, but just I get little signal. Yeah, man, because I had a I have a I had a connection issue myself. I had a connection issue, so that's fine. Uh oh gosh, I'm telling you, you know, it's one of those things, guys. Um where was I going? Um okay, so we did we did a difficult we did a difficult area on on before I do that. Where's my manners? On a donor, all right. On a yes, field. Sir. We're good. Good, good, good. Um there is someone on, all right. Sir, we are going to it. Hey guys, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. All right. So the problem, I think, was me. I was you were saying that Jody was having a problem from last Tuesday, but I don't think it's Jody. Jody, you want you were saying something, my love, before I went off. Can I go back again, please? Oh, sorry. Um, so we're doing, sir. I just said, uh, um, not doing well. That's oh, no. all. Oh no. All right. If you want to if you want us to talk, you can message me privately here, but sorry to hear that. Um ay, ay, ay. you know, why I stopped what I was going to ask I was about to jump into the lesson. And then I thought of just asking the question. Um 
class is a little bit more than just for me that is i don't know about any other teacher but for me class is a class is a family what what it is that we've developed here is a family and it's not i i don't think i should just come and say all right we have to learn this and i'm gonna learn that i want to make sure that you're comfortable make sure say boy on a, on a headspace is in the right place because if in a headspace is not in the right place there's no way teaching and learning can take place so jody um may i need for well, one reason um a little late about that all right um everybody else good yeah no maybe so all right say it again Teresa. All right, I didn't hear a word to say, Derisio. I am hungry. Oh, Jesus, you want Shanice? Shanice, you're hungry, right, Shanice? No, nah, Shanice, not him in a mind tonight. All right. Um, <laughs> she responded, I said, no, sir. Do you have a mango with you? All right. So... Okay, she didn't have no manga and she's not hungry. Belly full. Jesus help her today so she don't drop her sleep, Lord. All right. Um <laughs> you never fail to surprise me, Shan Shan. Trust me. All right, guys. Um, you know, this life though it's not a smooth one. We are gonna have potholes along the way. And these potholes, when we hover over them, you know, like you drive and you drive over the pothole and you drop another pothole, it saves your front end and your back end and your middle end and all kind of ends from the car. So what you need to try and do, as I, I'm speaking to you because I'm also speaking life into myself. We're going to, on this road, pothole, build road, we're going to see how much we can sight these potholes so it is that we don't fall into them. We know we have problems with money to pay the school fee and to get registered and to buy food and to this and children them going to high school now and uh, you have to go pay how much money to collect the package and buy this and that and the money not there and us and all of that. But I'm going to ask you, in all of what it is that you're doing, please find some time to study your book. I don't want anybody to fail the applied math. Just study, do what is required of you, if you put in the work, you must get the result. Me not ask you, no. Me not ask you, no. tell me, I tell you. You put in the work, you must get the result. You say, if you not put in the work, you no expect to get nothing. But once you put in that work, you must get the result. I can't tell you say it's going to be an A or a B or a C. But it's going to be one of those. But good. Yes, sir. All right. Big up yourself. All right. So last class, we looked at um, a topic that some of you <clears throat> were a little afraid of, um, if I were to be honest. Um, a topic where some of you confess that it... um. It disturbs your spirit, but based on memory, I quite frankly believe that you guys did pretty well at what was done. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Were you able to, to review the simultaneous equations? Yes or no? Yes, sir. But yes, I know. I like the, the eliminated metal. It looked more easier to me. <laughs> yeah. And, and to be honest with you, there are other methods, but I'm just going to stick with the elimination method because mm -hmm. it will get you through what it is that you want to do. I'm not, okay. going, I'm, not going, I'm not going to complicate it because I don't want to throw you off. So I'm going to stick with this method and you will be fine. I promise you. I promise you. All right. So that's Naomi. Who else?
I'm going to talk to him in the morning. All right, so the reason said that she was able to go through. So about the rest of you, and you know, so this is the problem I have with some of you, you know, you know asking a question and then not answering. All right, you're the plan. No, I'm not going to no more time. No, I'm not going to no more time. I'm going to half an hour for sort out to myself. No. Come talk to me, guys. I really need to move on. Come talk to me. Am I? Right. Put it this way. If you are able to go through, can sure. you raise your hand? Uh, me yes. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, um, Trace. No, I was saying, um, you can go back to it one more time, please, sir. Let me do this method because it's the other way I did it. Which method you use? Go back to it one more time. Oh, the book. No, my neck can't be turning. You know, come asleep on it, but then I be a pain me. I feel. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, you don't know. Never mind. Um, so I'm getting, I'm hearing, I'm hearing from, I'm hearing from Tracy, I'm hearing from Naomi, I heard from Derisio. Um, what about the rest of you? Amoy. Sir, um, sir, this was from last class because I'm not even to tell you a lie. But it end up falling asleep about midway. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I'm for the I should tell me. Sir, I'm not going to tell you a lie, sir. That topic here, I, you just said I do my bad, sir. I first moved to the class. I'm so sorry. All right, no problem. All right, I will, I will, I will, I, I like your honesty. All right, so I heard from, I heard from, um, from, from, from Jody. Um, what about the rest of you? Shani? Sir? Yes. Oh yes, sir. I went. I was going through it, sir, but I didn't go through the second one. I got when I was going through the first one, sir. But maybe I didn't go through the second one because the baby did I get fussy and then my child put in my bed and then my fall asleep too. Okay. Shiriki. Oh yeah. Oh yes, dear. I understand everything, sir. Okay, thank you. Jono, are you still? All right. Um, I'm not feeling the energy from you guys tonight. Um, I'm not feeling the energy at all. You guys, um, Something is not something is not right for tonight. But we are going to make it right. We're gonna make it right. Come guys. Um let's go. So we looked at some simultaneous equations. Looked at a few of them. And um and what we looked at was Looking at the elimination method. We looked at the elimination method. So we had an example. 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. And 4x plus 2y is equal to 5. I named that one my equation 1. I named the other one my equation 2. Equation 1. Equation 2. Now. I looked at both equations and I tried to decide which are the variables to eliminate. Which are the variables to eliminate? And in doing so, I thought to myself, because I have a one Y here, if I were to multiply equation 2 by 3, I will get both the y terms in equation 1 and equation 2 to be the same value. And therefore, if I subtract both, it means then that I would 
be able to eliminate. And that's why it's called the elimination method. Because you're actually eliminating something. So that's the only reason I multiply equation one, equation two, sorry, by three. So that I'm able to eliminate one of the variables. All right. So when I'm multiplying equation two by three, be reminded that I'm not only multiplying the, the term in y by three, but it is that I'm multiplying throughout the equation by three. I am multiplying throughout the equation by three. So three times four, x is 12x. 3 times 1y is 3y. 3 times 5 is 15. I use this yellow highlighter because I'm not interested in the second equation anymore. I'm not interested in equations one and three. In equations one and three. So what I'm doing here, because I recognize that it appears to me that equation three is bigger. Sir, why you say that? Them look like, oh, I swear I say no, sir. In one case, you have two X, but you have 12 X, very good. In this case, you have both of them being Y, three Y. But in this other case, you have this one here being five and this one being 15. So when you look at it, Equation three really looks bigger than equation two. What it is that we're going to be doing, I'm going to subtract the smaller equation from the bigger equation. So what I'm doing, I'm going to subtract equation one from equation three. I'm subtracting equation one from equation three. So when I say subtract one from three, it means that I'm doing this, three minus one, because I'm taking equation one from equation three. So I say 12x minus two x is equals to 10x. 3y minus 3y is equal to 0. 15 minus 5 is equal to 10. So what I'm going to have now is 10x is equal to 10. What I have now is 10x equals 10. ten. 10x equals 10. Everybody see everybody with me so far? Let me know. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. And then I say to myself, what is this 10x, 10 doing to this x? 10x is the same thing as 10 multiplied by x. What is the opposite of multiplication? And we all agree that it's going to be division. Yes, sir. Right. So because we do whatsoever we do on one side, we have to do it on the other side. 
whatsoever is done on one side must be done on the other side. So because I am multiplying 10 by x to give me 10x, in order to undo it, I'm going to divide both sides by 10. What's if I do on one side? I have to do it on the other side. So I'm dividing both sides by 10. So these two tens cancel. And when the two tens cancel, I'm left with just x. And when this 10 is cancelled with this 10, 10 into itself goes one time, and 10 into itself again goes one time. So I'm going to be left with 1. So I'm going to have x equals 1. I'm going to have x equals 1. Now, what I now do is, anywhere in the equation, which one did I use? I use equation 1. Anywhere in equation 1, I see x. I'm going to substitute the value for x to be 1. Anywhere in equation 1, I see x. I'm going to substitute the value 1. Why, sir? Because I'm trying to now find the corresponding value of y. So, this is what I did earlier. My dash well x. Mm -mm. My dash well y. Dash well y. Show it out until it's a yo, I don't need you. So that I can find x. Now that I found my x, I recognize I shouldn't have through I'm short y. So, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna substitute the value of y, a value of x rather, into the equation. So it's gonna be two times one, which is two. Plus three times three y minus five. Now I have a simple equation again with one unknown. So therefore, I can calculate the value of y. So two times one is two, and I have my three y here that I'm bringing back equals this five. I want to get rid of this two, so I need to undo the process, and to get rid of this two. So I need to undo the process. What is this 2 doing to this 3? What is this 2 doing to this 3? Uh, sir, is it when you add back the 3 to it, you're going to get back the 5? I don't remember. Very good. Very good. Didn't hear what you said, sir. I'm I'm gonna repeat for her. Soon come. So what is happening here is this 2 is being added to this 3y. What is the opposite of addition? Subtraction. Good. So I need, in order to get rid of it, I have to subtract it. In order to get rid of it, I have to subtract it. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. The 2 is being added to the 3y. I don't want the 2 to be added to the 3y anymore. You know why? Because I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it. Why, sir? Because I want to isolate my 3y. Sir, what do you mean isolate? I want to put it by itself. You know, when you te tell one person, they say, go in a timeout because you're out of order. I don't mean to tell the 3y. You are out of order. You need to stay by yourself. So I'm taking away the toys. But in order for me to take away the toys, the two is being added to the three Y. I have to use opposites. So I'm subtracting two from both sides. And that's what I have in red. To show in order to remove this, I'm going to do, I'm not going to be like some of your 
other experiences where they say carry the two over the equal sign. Not no go so. Not no go so. Sir, that may always do, you know, put the three Y, put the E, and then move it over. Yeah, it no go so do. You're, you're actually doing the subtraction. You're using the additive inverses here. Now, make them tell you no foolishness. It's the additive inverses you're doing. I saw them to teach me to, you know, say carry over the equal sign. But me know better now, so me know used again. All right, let's go. And then, and then, I'm going to be left with 3y equals 5. Equals 3. Because 5 minus 2 is 3. So 3y equals 3. And again, what I'm doing, I'm dividing both sides by what I don't want. What is beside the y? Three, sir. Good. And I don't want the three. It's just the Y I want. It's just the Y that I need. So I'm gonna divide, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna divide both sides by three so that I can isolate my Y. I want the Y alone. I am Shani's only class. Say it again. Well, Max is Shannon still in a class. I'm not here. Johnson want me. Teacher class, sir. Is not the same student, so I know. All right. This is not feel good, ma'am. I can give me a warm time. All right, never mind. Um, you, you don't like you don't lie in the bed to, to, to have a class? I don't hear you, sir. Do you lie on your bed to have a class? When I feel like. No, that is prob prob problematic. Do you put your hand by your neck and brace up your head? You don't want to open up. Yeah, you have to be careful. When COVID just came in, I, ha I had a neck spasm because I was lying on my bed and teaching. Serious neck spasm. Ah. So don't do that. Always try to sit up to have the session. Sir, I can't really sit up for have a session for so long. I have a back issue, so oh, we, have Jesus. To turns. we have to take turns. Okay. All right, my love. You will be fine. All right. So I'm going to have 3y equals 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. To give me y equals 1. Sir, every time I do the question, I'm going to get x equal 1 and y equal 1? Nope. Then, sir, every time I do the question, it told him going to equal to 5 over here, so? Nope. Oh, um, one more question, sir. Every time I do the question, again, uh, have all positive numbers in there? Nope. But if you follow the methodology, you'll be fine. Just follow the steps and you'll be fine. You know, one of the things that worked for me is just writing out how it is that I do stuff. My methodology, I just write it out. I do this because of this. I do this next, then I do this, and then I do that, then I do this. You go to work, and this is real talk, I tell you now. Um, so what I used to do is write it on like folder paper. And then if I know it's my turn to go into the kitchen to cook or to wash up the dishes, I used to just take the notes and just paste it on the kitchen counter. I mean the cupboard rather. And while I'm washing up the dishes, I am, of course, wasting the soap. And I am, and I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm reading over some stuff. So every moment is a readable moment. I'm taking a shower. Paper is stuck with tape on the back of the shower wall. It now get wet. And I'm studying a particular thing. I do this first. I do that next. I do this first. I do that. And you'll find out that it works. You'll find out that it works, guys. It worked for me. It worked for me. All right. 
And then what we did, because in, for the rest of the class, you know, it's no six o'clock. For the rest of the class, I just going to give you questions and I just going to work. That's all. For the next question, I gave you x plus 4 by equals 13 and 5x plus 2 by equals 11. And when I was setting up the question, I deliberately changed something because I didn't want you to get the same numbers on the other side to believe that it's going to always be like that. So here goes. I'm looking at this question. And I'm saying to myself, which of the variables am I to eliminate? It's a question that you have to ask yourself. You, know? you can't just jump up and say, I'm eliminate X or Y. If I look on something and say, all right, I don't want to make eliminate. No, don't want me. No, I'm going to do the first one. You have to decide. It's a, con a self-conversation you need to have. You need to talk to yourself in the exam. Which one do I need to eliminate? And then I decided that I'm going to eliminate my why. But sir, I have one question. When you did the first one, you eliminated the one that had just um. All right. Okay, so in the first question, sir, you 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 you, you eliminated the one that had the Y because the Y had a, 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 a one in front of it. Why never just eliminate this one here? Because it has it also has a one in front of it. I could have, but I chose not to, because I wanted to show you that I could I can eliminate any of the variables I want. You must just need to decide. But sir, we're not going to get the same answer. Absolutely. Absolutely, you will. Let's go. So because I want to elim eliminate my Y's, because I want to el eliminate, that's the word, eliminate my Y's, I'm going to look at the Y's to see what do I need to do. I have a 4Y here. I have a 2Y here. I must get both of them to be the same number. That's the only way I'm going to eliminate. By getting both of them to be the same number. That's the only way I'm going to eliminate by getting both of them to the same number. So I said, oh, but if I multiply equation two by two, two to my four, and then this will be four. Okay, so we're going to multiply equation two by two. Very good. So two times is five. It gives me this 10. And two times is two. It gives me this four. And two times 11 gives me 22. No, you have to remember, guys, that is not just one term you're multiplying by. You're multiplying throughout the equation by the two. But, sir, I have a question. When you multiply throughout the equation by two, you're not going to change the, the question in, in, in uh, something different from what they give you. No, not if you multiply throughout by it. If you don't multiply sir, throughout. Sorry. Why you choose to to multiply the because I have a four up here. I have a four by up here. And so then so I why, go ahead. Why why did you choose the five so that you could cancel out the X? Or so that you could get rid of it, get the answer for X. Yeah, man, that's what I just explained. I can do any one of them. I didn't do it this way. I didn't eliminate the X's first because that's the method that I that's that's something similar to what I did in. The first one, remember the first one, I had a 3Y and then I had just a Y. 
and I eliminated that one. This time, I didn't want to do that. I want to show you that I can go ahead and eliminate the other one. Oh. You follow me? So if I wanted, yes, so let me ask you, let me see if you really follow me now the reach there. If I really <laughs> wanted to eliminate the X's, what do I do? <laughs> Sir, I was saying that maybe you could multiply um by five to get rid of the X and see that do you have well. Um the resale, let me tell you what you just told me a while ago. Um, excuse me, miss, how no, do I get to no. Tall Camp Road? They said take a bus. Mm. Which equation do I multiply by five? The resale. You multiply mm. equation one by five. Very, very good, my love. Very good. And do me one other favor. Please go take out a piece of paper and give my nephew or my niece so they can come into the math class. <laughs> They're actually feeding, it's twins. I'm actually feeding one of them their dinner while I'm in. Very nice, very nice. They will, they will just repeat the mathematics so they can hear it and put the speaker loud so they can hear it. So when they reach high school, they can say, Oh, my uncle taught my mommy this. All right? Yes, sir. Speak up yourself. All right. So now, so you're correct, Derisia. If I wanted to eliminate my X's, that's what I would have done. But I chose to eliminate the Y's. All right? So that's why. That's the only reason. But you will be correct. So now, I'm going to have, I'm not going to be interested in equations one and three. I am not interested in equation two anymore. Just one and three. And... I'm going to look for the equation that looks bigger. Now, you will, you will say this to another teacher, and another teacher may say, this is foolishness, not, not so. It may be foolishness to him or her. But when I explain it like this to students, remember me coming my own flavor, you know. So this is my um, secret seasoning to make the jerk chicken taste really nice. All right? So it's a medical season. So medical season say, look for the equation that looks bigger and then subtract the other equation from it. So Doris, you still want me to work with the one and, and eliminate the X? Uh, Sir, just for, for practice purposes, because I did it. Using, you know, trying to eliminate the X first, and I didn't get the the, the, same the answer. answer. Yes, yeah, so that's all right. No answer. problem. All right, so when, so when I finish this one, I'll, I'll just go to the side so you can see. No problem. Yes, thank you. Cool. And then now, I am saying that my equation three looks bigger, and I'm going to now do my subtraction. I'm subtracting the smaller equation from the bigger equation. So 10x minus x is going to give me 9x. 4y minus 4 is going to give me 0. And 22 minus 30 is going to give me 9. So I'm going to have 9x is equal to 9. I have 9x is equal to 9. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 9. I'm dividing both sides by 9. When I divide both sides by 9, I'm going to get x equal 1. I'm going to get x equal 1. I'm going to get x equal 1. I'm going to put my x equal 1 into any of the equations. If I want to put it in a 1, we can put it in a 1. If I want to put it in a 2, we can put it in a 2. If I want to put it in a 3, we can put it in a 3. No matter which one, it will work out. But in this case, I chose equation three. So anywhere in equation three, I see X, I'm gonna put one. So 10 times one is 10, C tier, plus four Y is equal to 22. Again, I have 10 plus four Y. I'm trying to isolate my Y. I'm trying to keep Y alone on one side of the equation. I put in y alone on one side of the equation. I don't want anything else to be there, but just y. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. I'm subtracting 10 from both sides. So when I do that, I'm going to have 10 minus 10 is 0. 
and this four wire comes back, but this is going to now be equal to 22 minus 10, and 22 minus 10 is 12. So I'm going to have four y equals 12. And because I want to find the value of y, if I divide both sides by four, I'm going to get y equals three. And that's my answer. I can write it as x equal one and y equals three, or I can write it as x equal one, y equals three up here in brackets, or I can write one comma three. Means that x is equal to one, y equals three. All right, any questions? Now, um, students, I understand that today may be a, a, a little dreary for you, but like seriously though, um, when I ask a question, me, I go want to know kind of answer because maybe just stop talk. Because if you know, I am not one hundred percent there myself either. But I have to turn up and show up. So if I ask a question, I go ask you know, oh no, oh no, can just respond. Let me know that one dear, please. That's a problem, sir. All right, bless your heart. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, um, there was a request from the research and I'm going to see if I can fulfill that request. The request was, sir, can you um, do the question using, oh dear, I forget that I'm not using that. Can you do the question, sir, please, using, which thing am I supposed to use? Let me use brown. Can you do the question for me, please, sir? Using um doing the other method, I mean eliminating the other variable, and I'm more than happy to do it. So I want you to watch for me, please. I want you to watch for me, please. I'm doing the question over, but I'm doing using another eliminating another variable. So I'm gonna write the question as x plus four y is equal to thirteen. And 5x plus 2y is equal to 11. I'm calling this equation 1, and I'm calling that my equation 2. I intend to eliminate my x's. I want to eliminate my x's. So therefore, I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 5. Why, sir? Um, let me explain it this way. If I multiply equation one by five, I'm going to end up with both of them having the same value. Having the same value. If you're still not understanding that, I will, I will, um, no, no. You should understand it like that. All right, let's go. Continuing. Wow. This is interesting. All right, let's go. So what is happening here now is five times x is five x, five times four is twenty. And five times three is six to five. Which of the two, which which no no I'm no longer interested in in this equation since I just used that to get this one. So of equation one or equation three, which one appears bigger? Three is bigger, sir. Very good. Three. Very good. So I'm going to subtract equation one from three. Remember, when you subtract equation one from three, it looks like this. Three minus one. So I'm going to say five x. If I did something wrong a while ago, nobody don't even say to me, sir. sir that's me, not... I wonder if I'm not two, you would have took from three instead, sir. No, no, that you know. <laughs> that's not it, you know. I just said that I'm no longer interested in equation two. I am interested in equation two. I am not equation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. It's three, two from three, yeah. 
I'm no longer interested in equation one. I'm interested in equation two. So I'm subtracting um, two equation two from three. Yes, yeah, Shanice. But this, you have, that's why you have to tell me and I say, no, sir, that's all right. But you know, talk to the teacher. Alright, let's go. So now I'm going to say 5x minus 5x is 0. 20y minus 2y is how much y? 18y. 18y, sir. 65 minus 11 is how much? 54. Um, 54. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 18. 18. Yeah, eighteen to fifty four. Yeah, three times space. Three, sir. And then put y equals three now in to one. X plus four times three is equal to thirteen. X is equal to nope, not x equal. Yet, so you don't reach here yet. X plus 12 is equal to 13. So therefore, X is equal to 13 minus 12. X is equal to 1. Sir, I think I need to have more confidence in myself, especially when I, I see the, the top variable uh -huh. doesn't have any number uh -huh. beside it. Mm -hmm. I think I need to be more comfortable and don't run out from uh -huh. <laughs> Nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did my love for you already? <laughs> so do you do you agree with me, guys? Do you see that it doesn't matter which of them you use? You're gonna end up with the same answer? Yes, sir. Yes, right. Sir, I'm begging like one more minute. I'm trying to take up the last part of this example. No problem. Thank you, sir. No problem. No. Obviously, we're all right with it. No, guys? Can I, am I allowed to put on another one on the board for you to try for me? Yes, sir. I could try um, it, you know. Jody, are you, are you awake? Are you awake, Jody? Jody God. Lovely elimination question. Jody not in class. Jody, why are you not in class? All right, let's go. Cool.
All right. So what I've done, what I've done is to put on another question, but I did promise you towards the end of last class that come today, we will tackle a question using um, our negatives. I'll tackle a question using our negatives. And here comes the opportunity. Be very careful with the negative sign. As per usual, those signs are Mr. Negative. You have to be very careful. Here my question to you. Anybody, somebody. I'm going to ask you a twofold question. I need to tell me what it is. I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to ask you to, tell me which of the variables you would want to eliminate. And then you also need to tell me how it is that you're going to be eliminating the variable. So if it says, sorry, we're going to eliminate Y, sir. You have to tell me how it is that I'm going to be eliminating Y. If you say to me, sir, eliminate X, you'll have to tell me how it is that I'm going to be eliminating X. And your answer is in the body, somebody. Um, sir, can we? Um, sir. I'm hearing you, my love. Sorry about that. I was asking, well, we're saying that we're going to eliminate the variable X. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we would still do the part where we do the multiplication. Mm -hmm. So we can multiply equation. I would choose equation one multiplied by I should come back. Okay. So nobody else is going to give an attempt. It's just we're going to sit, sit here until seven o'clock comes. So may I try something for one paper, sir?
sir? Is, is it that we can use two or simple multiplier, sir? Tell me what, what oh, in, can we eliminate um you have to first before you even decide what we can do. You have to first tell me which one you're going to eliminate. Sir, I feel like more eliminate <coughs> that you have the, the negative five y or the minus five y. You want to, what what you want to eliminate? E equation one. So the no, not equation. Variable. You eliminate variable. the variable. You can't e eliminate equation. Oh. What you want to eliminate? Which other variables you want to eliminate? The number, the coefficient, and the letter are the variable, right, sir? Right. The number is a coefficient, very good, and the letter is a variable. Which of the variables you want to eliminate? All right. We can eliminate why, sir? Okay, fine. So now that we know it. All right. So there's only two things you can do in order to eliminate the y's in this case. What two things are you going to be doing in order to eliminate the y's? What would you be doing in order to eliminate the wires? Where is it that we're gonna take um take with the tree away from the five? No, no, we just have which, which 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 three door Tracy? Yeah. Sir, you're gonna take away the level from the seven wire. No, 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 no. All right, so let us let us go to the point where um when we're eliminating, so so Naomi says she like the elimination method, and we're eliminating. When we're eliminating, tell me what it is that we're doing. We're taking that, we're, we're removed, sir. Sir, you would have removed the, the five Y from the seven Y, sir. I don't like wasting that chance. I prefer if you say that we're, we're removing the Ys. Okay, sir. So you're removing the Ys. So, so Tracy says she wants to eliminate the Ys. So in order to eliminate the Ys, it means that you're removing the Ys completely. True or false? True, sir. All right, good. Now, we're getting warmer. In order for me to eliminate the Ys, so I can say something and something equals zero. So I know I eliminate the Ys. What, what, what must I have? Tracy, this is yours because you spoke about coefficient. Coefficient is a number and variable is a letter. What sir, must I do, Tracy? Sir, is it that we're going to take away five from the seven? Men? I know we no. just have tried. But if we take away five from seven, Tracy, we're going to get, you're not going to get two. Uh, that may I say that's another zero. We're gonna take away um the tree, sir, from the five. I mean, no, no, we just had to try. No, 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 and it can't. But the tree there, the tree there, no, over, tree over, over, the the over the X. X. So, yeah, so, can't so, take oh, it so, over, so, all yeah. three coming at the something. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, so, I may I try. No, 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 hold on, Tracy, hold on. You said, me answer the question, then we're there, and I rush me and rush you know. No, I'm mommy, no, with, man, me, me no, man, I'm happy when you because. It means that I'm now clearing up your misconceptions. So go on, okay. ask, and the rest of them must ask too. But you hear, you hear what Derisha me say a while ago though. Me not hear what she says, sir. You can't get in a, in an X business. X of three. Oh. Why you go X business? Uh, and why you, you say no? You know, you have to stick with Y. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Let me leave one of the bright sparks and put in both apart. So Tracy says, so, so we're, get, we're getting warm. She says she wants us to eliminate the Ys. Okay, fine. And then she used a big word. Sir, coefficient is number and the variable is the is the is the letter. Don't I said yes, correct. What's next? So you need to now tell me what's next, guys. You need to tell me what's next. Sir, may I assume sir you would have put sir three three x minus two x, sir. Plus two. Which other variables are you trying to eliminate, Chinese? Why, sir? Good. Um, with the with the three and the two, the um, Chinese. For the X, X side, sir. Not not go so. You can't. The sir, X would, sir, would you say I take away the seven Y from the five? I left but, with two. Why? But 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 remember when you eliminate, what you supposed to get, Naomi? Two, sir. No. Two. No. Yeah, to get zero. Zero, sir. Okay. Remember, guys, when we are eliminated, we are supposed to get zero. If we don't get zero, we can't do nothing. We can't go no further. No, 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 no. Come talk to me, please. 
I'm trying to get you. I can't, I'm not being difficult, but I'm just trying to get you to think um, so you can answer my question. Mm. Oh Lord, help us, Jesus. All right, let me help you out. I'm not Jesus, but I'll help you out. <laughs> because you want to eliminate the wise. You see the coefficient of y up at top, yes, so five. I'm going to use it for multiply it down at the bottom, don't you? So, Jesus, um, peace, man. And the coefficient on yourself for the other one, I'm going to use it to multiply it up, yes, so. Sir. Yes, sir, we need to write one more multiplication. Yes, sir, we need to write one more multiplication. That's all that there is to do, guys. Sir. That's all that. Yes, my love. Sir. Yes, please. My man never said it was true, but we said something similar. And I said, I can't read just so yet. Sir, yep. me, me, me never multiply the, 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 the one by the seven as when we say have the so me the have the one take of it. Yeah, um we couldn't get there. I hear you, I hear yeah. you Naomi, but, but 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 I hear you Naomi, but 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 Tracy, we couldn't get there yet because you just said some more multiplication, yes. But you have to tell me which are the variables first, yeah. Eliminate talk truth. That's true, sir. Yeah, man. So I so I so I like I like the questions that you're asking you know, because I mean I'm getting I'm I'm getting into your headspace and I'm knowing what it is that you're thinking about now, but I have to, I have to, I have to dig deeper because we're gonna learn that topic here, you know. I'm gonna tell you, it, it depends on the exam. So when I see them question the pam, um we call it them I pass them like me not know them, you know, but I can't go pass them now. Because they're crazy. Them no, you have to say it on the exam. True. It's an exam. Can we do it already? It's an exam. It's mandatory, man. We can't pass it. You can't pass it. No, man. You can't pass it. I'm not a fucking. I'm not going to put one for the mid-semester, too. No, that's not oh. about it. Can't matter with Sir, you know. <laughs> you see, no. You next up hurt you. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, <laughs> All right now. So now that, we are, now, now that we are here, where do we go from here? Anybody, somebody, who never taught me through this question, you know? Yes, Where do sir, we go ready, from sir. Here? Long time, born ready. All right, so we are going to say seven, three is 21. Seven times three, mm -hmm. 21 X. Mm -hmm. And we are going to, um, what is Man it? Man Man is seven, one. Five, 35, sir. Seven, five, eight, 31. Let me get my calculator. Seven, 21, seven. 21, uh, 35. Uh, Seven, nine, five, fourteen. All right. So we are gonna say we are gonna work with the we are gonna take away the um. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Eh? No, ma'am. We don't reach just yet. We need to finish. No, we don't need to finish the multiplication, sir. Yeah, ma'am. We need to two eggs. Okay. Two eggs. 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 Yeah, five and the second second mm -hmm. plus thirty-five, sir. Mm -hmm. What that? Five and eleven. Five. 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 Yeah, it's all the one, Johnny. He got sleeping on the eye class and I see yellow the eye now. He's doing a naughty school tonight. Sir, sir. Mr. Sir. Sir, Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, Mr. Sir, Johnny, sir. Yeah, John, sir. John, Johnny, we don't hear nothing from you. You're doing a naughty school tonight. <laughs> sir. Yes, mommy. I always get, I always get 55. There's some one, 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 one. Five. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to make one oh, person no, no. talk, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to hear one, one, one. You're right, man. Five um, times eleven, give you fifty-five. Oh, eleven five fifty-five. Yes, okay. 
Yes, 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 yes. 5,011. 7,107, yes, sir. And yeah. 5,155. All right. Mm -hmm. Uno no, 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 like some on old man, what kind of heavy and as that? No, but me like the class, man. The class are going on. No, 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 ready for talk to me. It's all I've stayed on. It's true, true. The food, the, the little oxtail and rice and bean, no, don't cook. No, no, come now with a plate. Excuse me, let's go. Are there class? Sir, warm, we are warm up. See me, so what do I do next now? Come talk to me. We are go, um, we are go, pluster, man, you know. <laughs> No. Minus four from truth. Yes. Sorry, cancel out the 35. Why? Oh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. The, the research is a cancel. Why would, why would I able to cancel yes. out? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> because you have the two 35 words that were saying that we could eliminate or we could get rid of them. Oh, by what? Uh -huh. By, by sub subtracting? subtracting? By subtracting, yes, sir. All right, somebody said that earlier. Who, was, who, who said that earlier? I somebody need to say it, sir, but my ears are wrong. Okay. Who said it say wrong? I'm not sure. I will advise me there at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so. Yeah, you did wrong for truth, still, you know, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we are going to mute my mic. <laughs> no, 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 no. But then are you alone wrong because there is, you're wrong too. <laughs> what do I do next, guys? How do I eliminate the wise? No, no, no. That's not me that last how do I eliminate the wise? That's where I'm at. I'm trying to eliminate the wise. How do I do it? So we are going to do it like how we do it up at the top. Yeah, all right, fine. But up at the top now, let's go back. Since it's, since it's the right decision. Well, I'm going to ask you now, you don't answer me now, sir. I'm going to hear you. Ask again. I'm going to ask if you subtract the straight um, equation from equation four, sir. All right, no worry, no worry. Now you want me. Lock off your mic. Like off your back. Um, I heard it, Shanice. Um, but no. Look at this one here. This one says subtract. And look at what I'm subtracting. And tell me if you see why I'm able to subtract. What was what was I subtracting? I subtracted equation one from three. And then in order to eliminate the why, what did I say? Um, repeat, repeat, please, sir. No, I'm saying in, in equation, in the first example that we looked at. Yes, sir. I was eliminating the Y's. Mm -hmm. So look at the Y's and tell me what it is. I, you, you said subtract. What, what is the value of the, the coefficient? And Tracy, I'm asking you because you use the correct term. What is the value of the coefficient of Y in equation one? Five. No. So you're talking about this question or the one that you write down, sir? No, man. Let me talk about that question up on the screen. Oh, one oh on the three, one. sir. Very good. What is the coefficient of... Uh, by, by the way, what kind of tree is it? It's a positive three. Very good. Very good. It's a positive three. What is the coefficient of y in the third equation now? Positive. No, positive, sir. Yes, positive. Okay. And therefore, I'm going to be subtracting. And therefore, I'm going to be subtracting, right? All right. Don't say nothing yet. Watch this. Okay, sir. I'm going to see where you're talking about, sir. I think I see. A... Okay, hold on to it, Chan Chan. Hold on to it. I want the resident to get it same time, too. What is the coefficient of Y in the second question? Four, sir. No, give me, give me the full thing. Positive four, sir. Good job, my love. What is the coefficient of y in the second one? Positive, positive four. two. It's a positive four. Not the second one, the third one, my bad. Positive sir, four, sir. Positive four. And therefore, I'm subtracting, don't. Yes, sir. Yes, Three sir. One. Oh, God. 
What's the coefficient of y in the in the third equation? Negative thirty. Negative thirty-five, sir. What's the coefficient of y in the second one? Negative. Ne positive. In, in, sorry, 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 sorry. In the fourth positive one. In the fourth one. Positive, positive, positive thirty-five. 35. Mm -hmm. What What do I do now in order to eliminate? Negative. Sir, negative and positive and negative, no? So. So we're going to sir, do. we add. We're going to Very add. Good. Very good. We must add now. Negative um thirty five plus thirty five is zero. We are adding equation three to equation four. You see why we're adding? Tell me why we're adding now. Sir, because no, I did negative no. something that said. Good. You see, on a learning by discovery, this you know. Please note. You understand what I mean by that? Yes, sir. sir. It's negative. Right. Sir. Please know that we add in this case because the y in the equation is negative. No, in equation three. We you just have to be, shorten you have to, it, sir. Yeah, yeah, we just shorten it because the, 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 the tablet has slipped. Um, in, um, Naomi, you can't just say equation. Yes, you have to say equation three. Okay, equation, equation three, three is <laughs> negative. And the y... In equation four, is, positive. is what? Positive. It's positive. Positive. So technically, That it was 62. So we are going to, oh, yeah, we are going to be. Proper, proper notes, you're not getting a math class, you know. So what I'm saying to you is, technically, when the signs are the same, we subtract in order to eliminate. But when the signs are different, we have to add. If we subtract this negative 35 from the positive 35, we're not going to get zero. So when the signs are the same, we subtract. When the signs are different, we add. See that here? The signs are opposites. So we are going to be Add in. So what is going to happen now? When we add, we're going to get 21x plus 10x is 31x. And negative 35 plus 35. And remember, you know, the operation that we're doing here is being done throughout the equation. We're not just going to add to elim eliminate the y's and then subtract the other piece. No. We have to be 31. And a 31. And a 30. 31 x. It's 31 x. Oh, 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 all right. Let me see now. And sir. then equal 62, sir. And then equal 62, right? 755 over 31. What's my next step? We are going to um, divide, sir. By what? 31 over 30, 31. Good. Just the one side? No, sir. Both sides. Because I said what we do on one side, we have to do it on the other side. Good job. And that's equal to much? It, um, two. Let me do what? Oh, lad. We are going to start on the next one now, sir. 
Go 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 say. That part there. Neg um um. We're not sure. Started P. So three. Oh, what about this again, sir? Remember, see up at top. We have no. Me not. Me not sure you up at top. More remember it. It started P. A tree. A tree. It started P. No, the word no one, Tracy. The word it started P. Three X. Three X. It a three letter word. E. Add. Put. To put. What sir? Me not understand. So put, stop saying put, understand. Put, put, sir. Put x equal to in which of the equations? Sir, we can use equation three. Yes, we can. Uh, so put in equation, we put in x equals two in equation three. Anywhere in equation three, we see x equal two. So this is 21 times two. Minus 35, y, equals 7. What is 21 times 2? 21 times who, sir? Yeah. 40, 42. 42 minus 35, y. Sir, sir, yes, hold up. Please. What, sir, hold up, hold up. Sir, why you put 5 minus 32, yes, sir, sir. Sir, no, no, three, you just, no, no, why you just can't, um, something there. And then something to zero. So why you have x in, instead of y? But if I, oh, what's there say? I mean, because I'm we eliminate, we eliminated the, we, according to you, Tracy, very sure because we eliminated the words. Oh, you have it already. Re remember, we eliminated the words in our um, the reach there. Right. No, you see, mommy, no, tell me, say, all right, you know, you see it? Yes, sir, we see it. Okay, Tracy. Tracy, we have said no. No, man, sir. I'm. I, I saw it and I was trying to subtract the forty-two from a thirty-five. So it's the seven. Seven. So what, sir? You subtracting forty-two from thirty-five? No, man. Forty-two minus thirty-five equals seven. Sorry, I said the wrong way. Oh, 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 oh. Minus thirty-five. Why? The left of the Y, man. Oh, 35. Why? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Because because what I thought you were saying is that you're subtracting 42 from 35. So I'm going to tell you, say, you can No, subtract. sir. Then I get negative 7. What? Mm -mm. You can't go subtract because the 35 has a Y on the end and the no, man, what the I'm other saying one is a number. I said it the wrong way. I was supposed to say 42 minus 35. That's what I was supposed to say. 35 yeah, Y. Yeah, 35 Y, but you still can't minus you. You, 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 you hear what the reach is saying, Tracy? Yes, so, sir. Right. So you can't subtract. You can't do that subtraction because it's two different terms. That's what she's saying. Okay. One is a 42 boom, and the other one a third. Put it this way. You have five US dollars. I said, sir, changes. I'm going to give you. I said, I'm going to give you three Jamaican dollars. Um, you're you gonna stone me because you're gonna say, but you can't, we can't give me a big, big five years to give me three Jamaican dollar. No, why can't I do that? Because it's two different terms we're talking about. Okay, sir. Different terms. All right, cool. Let's go. So now we are isolating something. What do we want to find? Want to find why? Very good. Want to find why? This Ooh. one is a little tricky, you know. You see the minus ones? You have to respect it because it comes with a little trick to it. What what are we going to do in order to eliminate, the, to, in order to solve for this stuff? What are we going to do? Come guys, we have 10 minutes and we're finishing up this question before. we soon finish. What are we going to do? There is it that you're going to do that. Can get rid of the product too? How? Minus. Minus it from both sides. Talk to me, the man. I'm sure you're you, 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 you talking a drawback. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what do I do? Tell me, what do you know? You know, one of the questions, you know, I'm just all right. Mm. All right. I don't want to hear from you. Can you not talk to me? <laughs> Sir, it's a positive uh, 42. You can see it all. You know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a proper, 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 proper vex teacher vex, do you know? So let me finish my right. question here. 
Thanks for your dream, sir. Because they're not, they're not talking to that. Right, watch me, guys. Watch me. Watch me. No, you recognize that I have a negative 35, don't it? You can't see that? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say this. 42 minus 7 is equal to 35y. Can you see what I did right there? Yes, sir, no, sir, we're not supposed to go over any other question now we don't know. Yeah, but I mean, we, never, we, never, we never do it over. Watch me now. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me show what I, what I did. I'm saying 42 yeah. minus 7 minus 35y. That's 3y, sir. Yeah. Is equal to seven minus seven. So I'm subtracting seven from both sides. And you can see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now I'm going to have. Yes, zero. I'm going to have 42 minus seven minus 35y equals zero. But. I want the y to be on one side, and I don't want a negative y, I want a positive y. So I'm going to say 42 minus 7 minus 35y plus 35y is equal to 0 plus 35y. Talk truth. Mm -hmm. My last lesson, sir. Sir, about that again? about that, sir? about that again? What is 42 minus 7? 35. So we have 35 minus 35y equals 0. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find the value of y, don't Yeah. Positive y or negative y, I want. So positive. Positive, sir. Good. So because the y over this side is negative already, I'm going to say 35 minus 35y plus 35y is equal to 0 plus 35y. I'm 35y to both sides. Why, sir? Because I want to cancel them. So I'm going to end up with 35. I want is 0 plus 35y. Same 35 way. Same 35Y. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 35. I get zero. No, I'm going to get one. What? Yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, one into 35. One, two. So therefore, x equal two. Y equal one. Y equal one. But work some stimulation, you know. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, for practicing. Yeah, man, that's what I want you to do for me. I really want you to practice. All right. I'm going to end here tonight. Well, I have to because it's now 555, 655. I want you to tell mm -hmm. me. I want to I want to verbalize to me now in the next five minutes. Um your difficulties, your concerns, anything you want me to clear up. Um I won't send you this notes immediately like I would have the, the, done in other cases. Why? Because I want to put some I want to put some some homework questions to it. So I want you to talk to me. Um, I want you to talk to me. What, what, what? Ask me any questions. What is it that you? Oh, what is happening here? All right, sir. So, me you know the first thing I want to know, sir, the topics. 
um, that will be coming on the exam so that I can focus more on those topics. I will tell you those. I will tell you those. Sir, sure. sure. uh -huh. sure. remember me do that test, that exam here, I me never pass it. You know, mostly think up on the exam last year, uh, steam this and variable, the variable where teacher a uh, centimeter company exam. Fair enough, yeah, man. Um, I, I, I variable, I like, like them ask about variable wine and bar and this, them something they come. Right, and, right, and right. This and the centimeter thing. Right. Um, but guess what now? Um, me, I'm going to give them something there now. But me, I want, me, I want to talk about that just now. What I want to do is tell me what it is the understanding from what you're not understanding the simultaneous equation. I want to focus on the simultaneous now so we can move into into understanding the stuff. You know what? I see I wasn't going to send it now, but me think yeah. so much. Go ahead. Somebody saying something? Now I'm just asking, because I'm used to the moving over, if in exam, if I, if, if by accident I do the moving over, but still get the answer, you're going to mark it up. Um, say the moving over in your mind. I'm not going to hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I was saying that to do where you know where they teach us in, in back then to put the 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 one the one with the coefficient and or the variable at front and then put the equal sign and put the the numbers behind it. If I happen to do that in the exam, I still get my answer if you would mark it wrong. Oh, because Teresa would have put one, Teresa would put one equal by a while ago, that's what you asked me? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, man, and I did that deliberately because it's the same thing. I did that deliberately. I asked because of how you did the working out a while ago where you put the 43 minus 7 minus 35 equals 7 minus 7. If I just put the 35 equal y and then put the 7 and then put minus 42 and then the 7 minus the 42 that gives me 35 and it does put, you know, to the division part of it and you still get the 1 if you would mark it wrong or I would still have to follow your No, work. man. Do, do, do it in, man. Do it in, man. Do it in, Okay. So. Any other question? Maybe I got ask, sir, and it makes me uh, sure. Talk to me now. Anybody else? I'm not going to believe the point. Um, big up on yourself as per usual. Thanks for coming out. Um, I'm gonna. I just sent you the work. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you some. We call it some some questions to practice on. All right. Yes, sir. Send the question. Never go practice. Okay, sir. Will do. Enjoy your weekend. To you, to my love. All the best, guys. Take care. Yes, sir. Yeah, man.